What's up guys? I'm in Windy Amarillo today and I've got two of my favorite trailers here, a PJ and a Diamond C 40 foot hotshot trailer. Today we're going to do a twist test. I'm going to pick both of these trailers up and just pick up one of the jacks and set them back down on the ground and we're going to see how much twist happens between each trailer. So let's check it out. For reference, both of these trailers are exactly the same. They're 40 foot long, gooseneck flatbeds on 10,000 pound axles with a heavy duty hutch suspension, slide track on one side, the Diamond C. It's got the torque tube going down the middle. PJ's got the slide track and it's got the twist guard just to show suspension. Heavy duty style suspension on both trailers. Apples to apples, we're looking the same setup. Let's make sure that we start out on level ground and that the trailer's low. 35 inches. 35 inches. Perfect. Let's check out the PJ. 34 inches. 34 inches. Okay, let's pick them up. Pick them up! Okay guys, I'm pumped to check out this result. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so to be fair, I let out the PJ jack over here on the same side that has the slide track, and I did the same thing on the Diamond C on the side that has the slide track, just so that we are apples to apples on the same thing with the slide track giving a little bit of extra frame strength on the outer frame there. So apples to apples, I wanna make sure that we are as close comparison as possible. Let me back up here a little bit. They are both leaning for sure. You can kind of see on the PJ. here on the Diamond C. Which one do you think is leaning more? Let's get out the tape measure. Okay, one more time. On the side that still has the jack on the ground. 35 inches now. And on the side with the jack up. All the way down to 30. Five inch difference from one side to the other right now. Okay, let's check out the Diamond C. The side with the jack, 36 inches. Let's go to the side, let's get the jack up, 33 inches. Three inch difference from one side to the other. I wanna take it one step farther and get on these trailers and kind of bounce around on these corners. Let's see what it does. All right, let me start with the PJ. All right, popping over to the Diamond C. We're flexing. Now keep in mind, this frame twisting and frame flexing is something that is completely normal. Uh, neither of these trailers are broken or not working correctly. This is something that you're always going to see when you're pulling the trailer down the highway, is some of this frame flex as it's just moving along with the road. Now, of course, you see that one trailer will not flex quite as much as the other. The Diamond C has got the engineered 16 inch I-beam and this PJ is on the structural steel 12 inch I-beam. So you can definitely just tell in how much difference it makes with the side to side twist while you're going down the road. I hope this helps anyway. Let me know if I missed something. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys for the next one.